It's pretty hot here in North Carolina. It's summertime. We're gonna give her a much needed haircut because right now she's super hot. We're gonna start with just completely brushing her all out. Um, when they definitely have really long hair like this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a slicker brush, we're gonna brush her all out, and then we're gonna go back with a comb and just check everything to make sure there's no knots. And if there are knots, no big de deal. We can definitely fix that, and this is how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna use what they call a dematting comb. You by far, you need these three things just for your day-to-day -day life with a golden doodle. You need a comb, a slicker brush, and then dematting comb. You're gonna have a few mats here and there, but with this, it just cuts right through it, and then it just pulls out the mat, no big deal at all. have a 21 millimeter guard. Now this is just completely preference on how short or how long you want to have it. Um, with this, we're going to go a little bit shorter just because it is really hot here. We want her to be super comfortable. So um, we're going to start with a 21 millimeter guard and then we might go a little bit shorter, but if not, we're just going to keep it at that. And we're literally just going to do the same length all over her body. And then at her head, we might just go a little bit bigger um, and keep her head just a tiny bit longer. But other than that, her whole body is gonna be the same length all over. What you'll see is as you keep doing, cause this is a lot of hair to, for this thing to cut, um, it'll get really hot and actually it'll get harder for it to um, be cutting as good and as quality. Um, so it's definitely Im um, important to get two pairs of um, uh, blades. Let the clippers do the work. The biggest thing is to take it slow. Don't push down super hard because if you push down really hard, it'll make it uneven and everything like that. And that's where it'll look kind of choppy. So you want to just lightly go and then you just push down like that um, and let the clippers do the work. And then you're gonna probably have to go over the same spot a few times, but that's totally fine. All right, so we're not done. Obviously, we still have got to, uh, you know, cut all this. But I was thinking about just grooming and brushing in general. When most people brush their dog, they're really paying attention just to like this area, and then you know they'll kind of just touch this. The biggest thing when you're brushing your dog, where they get the most mad at what I've seen, is in the armpits right here. And then for some reason, every single time, it's on the back um, legs right here as well. Like they'll get a lot of mats and then they'll get also mats right here and then under the ears. So the biggest target things to, um, or the biggest things to target when you're brushing are under the ears, the chest, the armpits, and then on the back legs. And then at the, maybe around here at the bottom of the paws. So really, if you can pay attention to that, that's huge. Whenever you're petting your dog, you're usually petting them up here. This area is really getting um, more filtered through and touched and stuff like that. Belly, the armpits, and uh, on the back of the legs and um, on the bottom. That's the biggest thing, and if you can do that, it'll really help you a lot, and especially when you take them to the groomers. Not as much work, and they can really focus on giving them just a good overall haircut. <laughs> Now we're moving on to the um, face. I still got to do some, a few more things on the um, body, but we're about to just trim up her neck and everything like that and her chest. Um, another thing with, so with the face, you're going to use the, the clippers the same length that you did the rest of the body. You're going to use right under the head and you're going to do that all right here. Um, and what that'll do is it just kind of makes it just kind of more cleaned up around here. And then um, on the, the neck, you're gonna also just trim all this right here and it kind of just evens everything out and makes it look, look a lot better. And then you can either on the head use scissors or you can use a bigger guard um, and then cut the head. Obviously it's pretty long so we're definitely gonna need to cut it a, a substantial amount. This is a 32 millimeter guard and I'm just gonna uh, cut her head, scissors on the face and then feet. scissors and I'm cut, gonna just cut all around her um, paws. Here, these are very important it just makes it look a lot cleaner and a lot nicer so 
We're just gonna make two quick cuts. All we're gonna do is cut right here. Super easy, just right up the eye, just like that. And you're just gonna clean that out as much as um, you like. Not very hard. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Just get it as close as you want. And then you're gonna turn it like this, um, bring down all the hair, and then you're just gonna cut the basically the brim of her eyebrows around, and then everything kind of just looks nice and more kind of cleaned up. Um, and then I usually will take the straight scissors and then cut a little bit across the middle of the eyes just to kind of clean that up a little bit. Um, and even if you take your dogs to the groomer, you can still do this in between cuts because it's um, fairly easy to do. And then with the mouth, we're just gonna find a good line. And this is really not that hard. I'm just gonna trim, cleaned up, kind of clean off to the side a little bit. Do the other side. And you're just gonna cut just basically a straight line, clean up around the chin. Make sure that's all good and even. Callie? Yep. Pretty easy. And then with the ears, I like to go back with the curved scissors again. And then just, basically you're just as short as you kind of want it. Um, there's no really like exact way, just kind of as tight as you want it. And I'm just kind of cleaning up the ears, kind of to however I want it to be. Um, don't want it too short, but just enough to kind of look better. So this is really not hard at all. It's just all preference. So like I said, this is really not um, rocket science. It's fairly easy. And then for the legs, we're gonna get her to stand back up. Her legs are actually already pretty well done, but I like to just kinda trim around like that, maybe pick her paw up a little bit, clean it up. And that's why the curved scissors make everything a lot easier. Um, and make them a lot rounder and just kind of cleaner looking. But you can see the, the back is a little bit kind of more frayed out. And we'll go along the bottom and then maybe pick her foot up a little bit and clean up around here on the bottom of the feet. And so, yep, that's what I do. Pretty basic. And so with that being done, um, that's the way that you will groom your dog. It's really not that hard. Um, I'm gonna touch her up just a little bit more, but she's just about done. And as you can see, she still has that little teddy bear look to her. So that's how we groom our dogs.